I watched Dave Chappelle's The Closer last night. One of the funniest things I've seen in at least a couple years. I laughed out loud many times. I needed that. Yes, he was offensive at many points, but he brought up many things that just aren't talked about very much. Dave makes fun of everyone. No group should be spared from being made fun of in comedy. No group. Sorry. The worst comedians I've ever seen are woke. They never say anything new. They just keep repeating the same tired narratives we've seen on Twitter and many other places thousands of times before. But because they say it in a weird voice or something, or they jump around a lot, it somehow makes it funny. And often, like Hannah Gadsby's horrible Nanette, it's not even comedy. Nanette was not a comedy. Sorry. If you think I'm wrong about woke comedians, then give me some examples. Give me some examples of woke comedians that are actually funny. Give me some examples of some woke comedians that don't just repeat standard narratives we've heard thousands of times. Yeah, as I said, those standard narratives we've seen on Twitter so much aren't funny. It's, it's not funny. I think a lot of woke people don't even know what comedy is anymore. When nothing can be edgy or offensive or get us to think about something we normally didn't think about, how is that comedy? How is that funny? Poo poo pee pee, my cat did something funny. Ha ha, funny ha ha. Hey, look, a five year old laughed at it. It must be the pinnacle of adult humor, right? To me, the best movies are the movies that get me to think about something I normally hadn't. Gets me to see a side of society that I didn't previously see, or I seldom see. Forces me to look at something I normally passed by. That's a good movie. I come out of it thinking of things I normally didn't. The worst movies are the ones that just constantly repeat standard narratives, that push the new socio-political Twitter status quo, that don't teach anything new, that don't show us anything new. Movies that act like demographical diversity is a replacement for good writing, good acting, and an original production. Now, Dave Chappelle's stand-up isn't a movie, obviously, but the great thing about his humor is that he forces me to look at things I normally don't, as I said. And he does it in a way that makes me laugh. I appreciate that immensely. So one of the things that I've thought about a lot since watching The Closer is the validity of some of the concepts within the ideas of punching up versus punching down. If there are problems in society, we should be able to call them out, regardless of whether or not those problems are coming from marginalized groups or from groups that are in the majority. We can't solve society's problems if we're only criticizing one element of it. There's this strange notion out there that the only people that can actually truly cause problems in society are demographics that have historically had the most institutional power, which is just patently false. No, we shouldn't bully marginalized groups. We really shouldn't bully anyone, quite frankly. But we should be able to criticize them if they're doing something incredibly stupid, or they're promoting something that is actually quite damaging. No, we shouldn't go after individuals who don't have power. We should criticize policies, group actions, ideologies, things like that, not individuals. So yes, I, I do think some concepts of punching up versus punching down are valid, you know, when you're talking about individuals. If you're just talking about groups, it depends. Honestly, though, I think a lot of this has just been a big power grab. If we make it so one generalized group is the only thing that's allowed to be criticized on the internet and in public-facing whatever, it artificially gives a lot of power to the ones who aren't allowed to be criticized. Now, I'm not saying that those people shouldn't have any power or that they shouldn't have more power. But if they're using manipulative techniques to get that power, it should be called out. You know, let's change language and redefine words so only one side of a narrative can ever be discussed. On the big tech platforms, we're only supposed to criticize straight, white, cisgender Christian males. We can literally be as mean as we want towards them. We can bully them all we want and there's no problem. You know, the only thing we can't do is threaten violence towards them, right? But if someone starts criticizing LGBT activist ideologies, well, they're, they're hateful and punching down. If someone criticizes the actions of BLM activists, well, they're racist and punching down. 
If someone criticizes Black Bloc Antifa, well, they're fascist and punching down. Yeah, it's such a crock. Sorry, but at this point, I think there are far too many people who are far too sensitive to criticism. Reasonable discussions where both sides have a chance of learning something have been completely destroyed in exchange for toxic tribalism, and it's hurting the country as a whole. Let's hope we can eventually get past this. Anyway, thanks for watching.